Witness the future of robotics in action. Meet the self-balancing robot that defies gravity. Excited? Then stay tuned with us and watch the full video. So, let's get started. After a successful prototype test, we printed this board for our robot project. Wiring diagram, Gerber files links available in the description below. We have already soldered headers on the board. If you want to see more details, please check our old videos or click on the i button. For this robot, we selected 100 mm diameter wheels for better stability. And, these are the engines of our robot. NEMA 17, 12 volt stepper motors. This is the brain of our project, Arduino Nano board. We bought this board more than 5 years ago, hence it has old bootloader. We will see how to deal with it later in the video. And these are the A4988 stepper motor drivers. For communication and controlling our robot, we are using HC05 Bluetooth module. And this is the MPU6050 triple axis accelerometer and gyroscope module. To make robot frame, we will need three 150 mm by 70 mm sheets. You can use any lightweight material. And these are the clamps for stepper motors. We are using 35 mm and 25 mm nylon spacers to use as a vertical columns of our robot frame. And some M3 screws. So before we start building our frame, first we have to set limiting current of stepper motor driver, which is very easy. Take Arduino Nano and install on the breadboard. Now take A4988 stepper motor driver module and install on the breadboard. We will supply 5V from nano board to VDD and ground pins. Now take red jumper wire and connect 5V pin of Arduino nano board to VDD pin of the driver module. Similarly, take black jumper wire and connect ground pin of the nano board to ground pin of the driver module. Make connections exactly as shown here. Now take another black jumper wire and connect ground pin of the driver to ground probe of the multimeter. You can use crocodile pin to hold it properly as shown here. Now take positive probe of the multimeter and connect one end of the crocodile pin to it and connect other end of the pin to screwdriver bit so we can set reference voltage of the driver. Now switch on the multimeter and set it to DC voltage mode.
Now we need to provide power to our nano board so it can supply voltage to stepper motor driver. Check the notes above. We have to find and set reference voltage of the stepper motor driver to limit the current. To find reference voltage, we first need value of max current of the stepper motor, so check specifications of the stepper motor carefully. Do the same procedure for another driver as well. To provide power to our nano board, MPU 6050 triple axis accelerometer and gyroscope module and HC05 Bluetooth module. We are using step down buck converter. Using on board potentiometer of the buck converter, set the output voltage to 5 volt. Once setting up the output voltage, Install nano board, gyro module and Bluetooth module on the PCB and check if everything working normally. And here is the wiring diagram of our self-balancing robot. We are using Balancing V, GitHub code by Mawik. More details available on the GitHub page. So let's start building the frame of the robot. Take clamp of stepper motor and install it on the bottom plate. Do the same and install another clamp to the bottom plate. We are using M3 socket head screws to mount the clamp. Tighten them properly using screwdriver. We are also using M3 nut. Install and tighten them up as shown here. So our bottom plate assembly is ready. Now it's time to install stepper motor on the bottom plate assembly. Take Noma 17 stepper motors and install them to the clamp as shown in the video. Now install columns of the frame, made of 335mm nylon spacers. Make 4 columns of 25mm nylon spacers and install them on the middle plate. Install whole assembly to bottom plate as shown here. Once done, take top plate and install it using M3 screws. Now it's time to fit our circuit board on the robot frame. Using M3 screws and nylon spacers, install as shown in the video. We are fast forwarding the installation process to avoid making long video. Take the screwdriver and tie the screws properly to the plate. Now it's time to connect motors to the circuit board. To do this, Take stepper motor wire connectors and connect one end to the stepper motor and other end to the stepper motor driver pins as shown in the video. Watch the direction carefully.
Take both stepper motor driver modules and install on the circuit board. Again, watch the direction carefully. Also note, we have already set the limiting current by reference voltage method. Now our robot frame including circuit board is ready. But will it work? No. First, we have to install sketch to the nano board. So let's see the sketch and how to upload it. Let's first find the COM port of the nano board. This is the GitHub page to download code of our self-balancing robot. Download zip file from the code section as shown here in the video. Once download completes, check the download folder. Extract the zip file content in the same folder. Now here is the important step. Check the last folder having files inside and rename it by removing dash master text from the name as shown here. Now find the balancing of dot in O file in the folder. Right click on it and open it in Arduino IDE. Your sketch will appear something like this in the Arduino IDE. As I told you, we have very old nano board so we have to choose old bootloader before hitting upload button. If you have new board just go with new bootloader. Now hit upload button and flashing process will start. One sketch uploaded to the board. Now it's time to connect the robot to the Android phone. Here we are using Easy GUI Android app. Turn on phone's Bluetooth. Find and connect to HC05 module using pin 1234 as shown here. Follow the steps as shown here to configure the robot and its parameters, as well as PID values. Tweak the PID values according to the robot behavior. I have set mine to the max during this video shoot. Here you can enable different modes like Auto Stand Up, Position Hold and Normal Mode. This is the page where you can control the robot speed and direction as well as modes. Here we also tried another Android app called Bluetooth Mutavi Self Balancing version 1.0 from Play Store. Check the procedure as shown here to connect and configure your robot. This app has auto centering joystick so it's easy to maneuvering the robot. So now sit back and enjoy the robot in the action. We haven't shown auto rise feature, beeper and controlling the robot using radio transmitter in this video, because for it, we have to change few things in our current setup. If you like to see all these features, please comment us. Also please like, share and subscribe to our channel. I am DHK Dude signing off. Hey and wait! We have some behind the scene clips in the last of the video, don't forget to watch that. Enjoy it.